15 minutes of fame. Let's go. So, okay, yo, man, 15 minutes of fame, man. Shuni, the fucking rapper. Can I add the fucking rapper in there? You can. It sounds can. harder, right? It sounds harder. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. didn't think that would be appropriate, you know, on my come up. But now it's like I got to, you know, put some respect on it. So the huh. fucking rapper it is. <laughs> Hair looking good, as usual. Thank you. I always thank love you. the blonde. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the blonde works. So we got uh, May 5th. You got uh, Cinco. Mm-hmm. And uh, you the headliner. That's a fact. With um, official. Right. See the pause? This is what I've been telling everybody, that people are not really coming out to see her. You know what I mean? You paused a little bit to remember her name. No. It's all good. No, you did. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you know. Okay. You know. You We're know, not going to blame it on old age either. We, we know what it is. People are not really interested in seeing her anymore. Like, I'm bringing her out. I'm bringing out the people. People have been talking about this card because of me. Before, she definitely had that effect. But right now, no one's really looking for her. You, you think because you've been more active than her? Absolutely. And you have been, so... I've been a lot of, I've been more active than a lot of the females and you know what I mean? Niggas could say what they want about me and say, Oh, it took you this long or this or that or whatever. The, it still stands that I have longevity and that at this point, I'm still one of the only ones from the beginning that is relevant and still doing what they're doing. And when people are talking about female battle rap, they are mentioning me at this point still, you understand what I'm saying? So it, it is, what it is at this point. Let's just, you know, be clear about it. Now, has this ever been attempted to set up before you an official? No. Mm -mm. no. And and I don't, I mean, I don't know why people were asking, you know what I mean? Like fans have mentioned it before and stuff like that. And I said this, you know, before when I was talking to someone privately that I think that this is something that should have been tried to be set up, you know, but at the end of the day, she took her path. I had my path and, you know, it kind of, Going to the top so fast, it kind of makes you skip people that you should have seen. Not that this, you know what I mean? I think it's good timing for it, but this is something that could have happened before. Uh, yeah, because I always, it, again, even with male battle rappers, I always say the same shit. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, why haven't those two battled yet? Right. Sometimes mm -hmm. I got to Google it and say, have they yeah. battled? And then you yeah. look, you're like, no, they haven't battled. Mm -hmm. And sure. then it still comes, you know, sometimes it still comes full circle. And, you know, I think I was watching um, Champion and I seen somebody mention something like that, like, oh, these are battles that should have happened or, you know what I mean? Like, why it didn't happen, but then it's happening now. I believe DNA was talking about it where it was like, you know, that's a battle that should have been you no know, whatever, you know, um, or or that they happen too early and stuff like that. And I think that's that's something that happens. And I think there's a, there's a couple of things that happened in officials' career as well that she battled a few people too early. And then not that she's whack, but it's kind of like now we're looking for more. You know what I mean? We're just like, okay, now what? You know? I, I agree. Even with people like you too, there's a lot of ba battles that happened too early. But it was like, what else was gonna happen back then anyway? So. You know, but as you guys grow and get better, you be like, you know what? I want to see them battle again. Mm -hmm. You know, at the right. level that they battling at mm -hmm. now. So I hear you. But I uh, hear but you an official hasn't happened. Now she talking shit. You talking shit. This one thing I do love about female battle rap better than male battle rap is y'all talk that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, girls are catty, so yeah. we we got a lot of shit talking to do. <laughs> we and and it's funny because that's how this battle came about was basically shit talking. You know, she, there was a post and she wasn't even going at me directly. It wasn't for me. She was shit talking with, with Blaze and asking her how Blaze, you know, how did you let Shuni beat you? And I took it as disrespect. And I said the same way I'd fucking beat you. And then the next thing you know, it deposits were sent, contracts were signed and here we are. You know what I mean? Like, don't, don't talk that shit to me if you're not ready to, get in front of me and figure out, you know what I'm saying, what it's going to be. Now, it is, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, um, I mean, you, official, y'all are like the cream of the crop of female battle rap. So I know you saying, yo, I'm going to fuck you up. She's saying she going to fuck you up. I mean, mm -hmm. which is which is all fine and dandy. But at the end of the day, like, both of y'all are really good at what y'all do. Now, I, I, I think uh, 
Was it you saying 3 0? I said I'm not coming to play with her. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm not coming in there to to go in there with an expecting, you know, because people ask, what are you expecting, a 2-1 or what? Or this. Like, this is, this is really the first time that I'm trying to really, really, really take somebody's head off. A lot of times as battlers, we, we go in there preparing just to kind of keep up or just to, to win it. You know what I mean? You don't really be trying to go body something. You understand what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, I've already, I've done this for, you know, almost nine years, eight, nine years, whatever. I've been in it for a very long time. You understand what I'm saying? A, a long time. From, from the beginning of Queen of the Ring, which was what, 2010? So it's 2018, right? We're almost to the middle of 2018. Now, if you think about it, there's not much that official can do for me as far as like stature, like, oh, who does she battle now? But as respect, I can get a lot of respect from this where it's like, okay, y'all felt like I couldn't do this or y'all wasn't paying attention. That's the only thing that she could give me and I'm coming to snatch my fucking respect because... You know what I mean? I'm tired of explaining. And at this point, you know, and I felt like I've already done that where I don't have to explain, but it's obviously every time I get somebody else, they're like, oh, you're going to this, you're going to this. I'm tired of people having me as the one that's going to lose. And then I don't, of course, but they have me as the one that's going to lose. And this is the last time I feel like this is the absolute last time that anybody could say, oh, she's not this or she's not ready for that. Because at this point, you can't tell me I'm not ready for something. You can't tell me I'm not going to beat somebody because I write for my opponents and I've proved that. So I think that's that's what I meant by that when I said, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm coming for a 3-0. I'm not trying to really hear no two ones and shit like that. Like, I'm, I'm coming to really fucking beat her. Well, again, like, like you said, well, that's normal. You know, mm -hmm. you're supposed to go in there trying to win every fucking round. Not this just is true, round. but you don't hear people say that. Sometimes you hear people yeah. saying, oh, I'm going to say 2-1, or well, I think, right. you know, they might get around, and they might, uh, uh, I'm not, yeah, I'm not even saying all of that. I'm not saying that she's not good. You know what I mean? Obviously, she's good, but I do feel like we kind of know what to expect from her. Right, and you're, you're both aggressive. That's why, I'm, you know, I'm interested in this battle um, both of your styles are aggressive. And like I say, sometimes when you see two people battling each other, if one is not as aggressive as the other, it almost seems like a lopsided thing. Then you yeah, actually, it looks like bullying. Yeah, it looks like a bully bully mm -hmm. thing. You know, mm -hmm. but um and lyrically both of y'all are really good too. So but um and again, uh who was it that you battled on the last C card? Uh, AR-14. AR-14, right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. And she 3 0 would you, or did she 2-1 you? <laughs> yeah, she, she swept me under the rug, yeah, it was over. Uh, no, I actually fucked up in one of the rounds, but when I listen back to it, and when people really, like, listen to it, there was nothing she could do with me lyrically. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was punching better than her. I had more bars than her and stuff like that. Her performance was a lot smoother than mine because, you know, all the bullshit that was going on and everything, you know, that was a week before, the, you know what I mean? I fought the week before the battle and all of that. And it was just, you know what I mean? My mind just was not where it was. But right now, you know what I'm saying? Clear head, clear space. Now, how, how long did you know about this battle? Um, we had a few months. We had a few, a few months. months. Okay. Yeah, we had a few months. If I want to say February, maybe something like that. Maybe February. So you got your mm -hmm. deposit in February and started writing right after that. Um, I started writing as soon as she said what she said on the the post. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right out the gate, she talking mm -hmm. shit, then this is probably gonna happen. Let me get ready for it. Yeah. Smart. And and plus and plus, you know, I, I'm I'm a little older, so I go by, you know what I mean, like the, the KRS one. You always gotta have a round ready for everybody. You understand what I'm saying? So it, it may not be a complete round, but you best believe I know what I'm gonna say to every last one of these bitches and some of these niggas out here that I think is nice. I'd be like, all right, I say I would say this, this, and this to you know what I mean. You you got to be ready, so I, I'm ready for her. So this is a uh, uh, May fifth. It's on the C card. Mm -hmm. Definitely a great fucking card. It is. It's a really good card. Yeah, it's a really uh, good card. Now I didn't see Farrah on the card. No, 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 she wasn't on it. Um, they were trying to get her versus somebody, but 
number wise and timing and stuff like that i don't i don't think uh the word aesthetically it didn't it didn't uh pan out okay because you know yeah. me i see shuni on the card i know farrah's on there somewhere <laughs> i said maybe she's it's, a surprise right, battle right. <laughs> so, who knows who knows she's friends with both official and i who knows maybe she'll jump in somebody's round we don't know you guys got to be there to see oh. maybe maybe she'll jump in both rounds who knows right Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you guys gotta come out and check it out that would be funny <laughs> wouldn't it <laughs> that would be funny oh um, so and and again you and official it's like y'all cool before <laughs> this yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is straight, you know, because again, with the females, we I never know. I never know with the females. You know, you don't, you don't. And yeah. I still don't know. I mean, I prepared my rounds just like I would prepare, you know, for anybody. And, you know, when we step in there and we do what we're doing for that nine, ten minutes, it is what it is. You know, when I come out, I have no hard feelings. And, you know, I'm pretty sure that's how official does her business, too. And we go right back to what it is. You know what I mean? It's just like... When you got to take your friend outside and whip her ass or something real quick. And then it'd be like, all right, bitch, let's go get something to drink. You know what I mean? Um, That's the way I like it. This this is this is what's about to happen. You know? That's the way. Now, now, this isn't happening on a big stage. This isn't mm -hmm. happening in the Queen of the Ring ring. Is there mm -hmm. a different feel? Because you've already battled on the C stage. So now mm -hmm. battling somebody like, see, I would always think this is a big, no disrespect to C, you know, but I would think like Shuni versus official is like, that will be a bigger type of stage or platform for something like this. Is it going to mm -hmm. make a difference that it's C and it's not in the ring at Queen of the Ring or on a URL mm -hmm. stage or something? Uh, it may. I don't know. I don't know. I think it, it, it does affect it a little bit because it is a stage um, and the effect is different on the stage. Not that it's better or worse. It's just in a, a different effect. You know what I mean? Like when you think about battle rap, female battle rap, you automatically think about the ring and it just holds a certain stature and it just gives it that you know, that real grudge type of thing. And you can achieve that from the stage, but it does make it a little bit different. It absolutely makes it different where kind of like you know what, what you're fighting for type of thing. You know what I mean? I think the stage sometimes always gives off a, a performance. Like when you see the ring, it's like, oh, they about to fuck each other up type of thing. And I, you know what I mean? Like I think even male battle rap, even though King of the Ring didn't really do what it was supposed to, that was a great idea to put niggas in a ring. You know what I'm saying? Right. And let them just, you know? So it, I think it does affect it, but more in a good, it could be a good way. You know what I mean? Because it's just us. You know, it, it's just us and we gonna have to put on and pretend that there's nobody there. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the ring can do different things for you. Like it, it can make you feel really comfortable because people are not that close to you and you got the perimeters or it can make you feel like everybody's watching you. You know what I mean? And just looking, you know, so it, it's different. It's different effects. And, you know, last time I was on the stage, it was cool. I don't prefer battling on stages, but... But that like that it. stage is kind of small, though, right? Yeah, it was a, it was kind of small. It doesn't it give was, you the, the the moving around option. Nah, you can move. You can okay. move. Yeah, you can you can definitely move around and you know get your shit off and stuff like that. It's just you you got to be in your zone. You just got to be comfortable. You know what I mean? You got to know your perimeters. Um, you you can't move a whole lot, but it, you can definitely move. It's a good stage. Fifteen minutes.